It is Holy Thursday, also called Monday Thursday, the day of Christ's great commandment. In John 13, 34 and verse 35, the Bible says this, I give you a new commandment that you love one another, just as I have loved you. Also, you should love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. Jesus' great commandment was given. Jesus says that if you're truly going to follow me as a Christian, you must love all people, without exception, everywhere, every time. And when you become love like this, you become like Jesus and you worship God in the proper way. And all will know that you are a disciple of the living Christ. Monday, Thursday is also called Holy Thursday. And it's a time to commemorate Jesus' Last Supper and the beginning of the sacrament of the Lord's Supper. The word Monday comes from the Latin mandeum, which means commandment. At the Last Supper, Jesus gave the disciples a new commandment to love one another as he had loved them. Prior to breaking bread with the disciples, Jesus washed their feet. Jesus Christ is the greatest servant that the world has ever known. The washing of the feet of his disciples demonstrated the humble role of service to others that we must be willing to take on upon ourselves during our lifetime. In both ancient and modern Middle East, the feet are considered the dirtiest part of the body. Usually covered only by open sandals, the feet were constantly trotting in the dust and dirt. Even today, it is an insult to throw a shoe at someone in the Middle East because it is considered the dirtiest part of the body. In biblical times, it was customary to remove the sandals before entering a house or a holy place. A harsh insult, as I've said, would be to touch another person with your sandals, to kick another person with your feet. The ultimate triumph over an enemy was to make him your footstool. The Jesus teachings here began by demonstration. Washing the disciples' feet, taking it upon himself, the lowliest of all tasks, and when Jesus began to wash Peter's feet, Peter complained. Jesus was far, far above this degrading act, and yet Jesus replied very, very clearly, Do you know what I have done to you? You call me teacher and Lord, and you say, Well, for so I am. If I then, your teacher and Lord, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have given you an example that you should do as I have done for you. By his actions, he taught us that true greatness, true greatness is accompanied by loving service. And success comes through serving others. In Mark 9, 35, it says, If anyone desires to be first, he shall be last of all and servant of all. And now, let me pray for you. Dear God, teach us to rise above our former self, 
so that we may live and demonstrate the exalted state of your love. Humble me that I may serve others before I seek to be served. And dear God, I ask to be changed at depth so that I may carry a profound love for others in my heart. In Jesus Christ's name, I pray and I believe and I serve and I love. Amen.